We're here at this abandoned storage unit right here that we just bought at the auction. We paid $375 and have no idea what we're getting into. You ready to go see if we make some money? Let's do it. All right, so we have a lot of money to make up to get back our $375, so let's start digging. First thing we got out of the unit, vacuum cleaners, easy $10 sales at the flea market if they're used. We actually just sold a new one we got for 40 bucks, but hey, starting off with a $10 bill, we got about 365 to make up. Let's do it. This, I just got assaulted by a chair. Did you catch that? Looks like a nice flat screen TV. You can usually judge that they're gonna sell for more of a how thin they are. Look how thin that is. It's basically a tablet thinness. That's a good TV. I'm gonna say that's probably like $25 right there. Put it right over here. And this is chair is actually gonna go to prison for assault to me, so we're not selling it. Put it over there. Let's pull down the first green tote over here. Oh. Ugh. Uh, it's too light. I don't like the feeling of that. Don't tell me it's, no! I hate finding clothes, I really do. Let's stick to it really quick, make sure we don't see anything hidden in there. Nope, that is a complete total clothes. So what we usually do with the clothes, take them to the flea market, stack them all up, say a dollar a piece, take whatever you want and whatever we can sell, just donate it. You can donate clothes anywhere. Let's pull out a second green coat. Uh, feels a little bit heavier than the last one, a little bit. Oh, it's not clothes, sweet, sweet. We got some actual stuff. Let's see what's in here, what is that? File cabinet? Where's the opening? Oh, no, that's not a filing cabinet. There's pottery and stuff in here. A little angel, look at that. Some brands are very expensive. This is Kay's collection. Ah, uh, no, it has Dollar Tree distribution on it. So I'm gonna guess that's not one of the more expensive ones. Let's set them in here now. And this is actually a complete thing just full of these little angels, but this one's family dollar. They're not gonna be expensive. If the first thing you see is Dollar Tree and family dollar, you probably got cheap stuff. And we also got a house phone. If this was 1995, I'd be set. But now in 2020, we kinda hope somebody buys this. If not, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. Let's get down green tote number three. This one's really light. That's too light to even be closed. There's definitely stuff in it though. Hmm, what do we have here? A lunchbox with AAA batteries. You know, that's why we do this. That's why we do this. If you don't store your AAA batteries in your lunchbox, what are you doing with your life? That's where I keep mine. This feels like shoes of some sort. Let's see what they are. Ooh, some leather boots. Looks like what Patrick was rocking at the end of the SpongeBob movie. Mmm, those look good. Empty Walmart bag, a fan, and what is this? This is a oh, oil drain, I guess, if you change your own oil. You're one of those people. I'm not one of those people. We just pay someone to do it. But kind of random stuff. I think stuff that'll sell quick. Green tote, number four. Let's hope this is the good one. Ooh, let's go over here. Ew, look at all the sticky stuff on it. Gross. Pillow. Oh, what is that? Is that what I think it is? Is it? You know what that is? No. It just looks like the ba a bad shape for a storage buyer. If I see stuff in that shape, it's usually nothing pleasant. For me, I should say. For other people, it might be pleasant. I don't know. Hey, look, a lottery ticket. Did you win? You lost. No. You actually won $2. I'm taking it. I'm going to try to cash it. Uh, and the rest of this just looks like perfume and things like that. Victoria's Secret Crush. Oh, my God. Perfume. What is this thing? A paper pro, one finger, 12 sheet punching. Oh, punch, paper punch. And purse, looks empty though. Yeah, it's a Rosetti New York purse. And they're always nice enough to leave us these so when we hit deal with our trash, we got stuff. But so far, the four green totes weren't as good as we were hoping. Now for the most interesting thing, a bag full of their beddings. Y'all wanna spend 10 minutes looking at a blanket and some sheets? Well, I don't, so we're not gonna do that. Let's see what's in little tote here. I just saw that stuff move. That's gonna come down. It's gonna come down eventually. While I'm recording, it's gonna be like <sighs> Let's see what's in here. This looks like mail and stuff. Paperwork, pictures. 
Not seeing much interest in this one. No. There's a Bible down there. There's a phone, a smartphone. The Living Bible. People always say check Bibles for money. I'm telling you, we've gone through 300 storage units and never found even a dollar in a Bible. Never. But, yeah, we don't want to look at their mail. Maybe pink will have more luck than red. Let's see what we got in a pink tote besides weird sticky stuff that I just touched with my bare hands. Um, let's see. We got a piggy bank with nothing in it. What's in here? A weird container with a lock. Yeah, beautiful. An oil filter for a car. It's probably, ew, it's all, no, it might be new. I don't know. It looks new. I don't think they have much value anyway. Uh, what is this? Curler? Looks like. This is a purse. Olivia. Olivia, enjoy New York. This is more household stuff. Ew, look in there. There's like used something. You see that Tupperware? It's like used food or something in there. That's just grody. Let's just, what is this? Um, pears? Yeah, no, no. We're, we're just gonna go ahead and throw this tote aside. Let's get this before it falls and collapses on me. That's empty. This is, I don't really know. Santa? Angel, a uh, Safeway hat. No, hey, look, a Barbie. Some smashed Barbie. It's like a NASCAR Barbie. NASCAR's probably really hot right now because it's calling all, uh, causing all con controversy. People are mad and hating it and loving it right now. So you know what? Might be a good time to sell it right now. Uh, what else do we got going on? A dream catcher, some charcoal, lighter, and just... Uh, the rest of it's junk, but let's hope NASCAR Barbie has some value. So we got a Titan, looks like a freezer lunchbox thingy. It's pretty dirty though, so if it does have any value, it's not gonna be very high. And it feels light, so yeah, look at that, it's empty. But it has like water in it still, so it's kind of dirty. Let's set it over here. Let's get this green thing. Another green toe, you ready? Oh, what is that? Is that alive? No, it's not. Okay. And here we got a Christmas tin. Something in it. It better not be Christmas decorations. We're on a streak now. We have gone through three units without finding any Christmas decorations. This better not kill it for us. Ugh. All right, let's see. Oh, well, our streak's dead now. We have Christmas ornaments. Uh, one of the worst things to see. That usually means that much value. That's a, uh, that's a zero, not a oh. Zero value. I hate Christmas decorations. I think it's touched me, man. Someone's alive in here. All right, so we got some dirty used Skechers. Oh, that's such value. And where's the good stuff? Oh, what is that? Oh, look how moldy whatever that is is in there. You want it? No. You want to eat it? Yeah. Here you go. Gotcha. Mmm, nothing like some good old fashioned chicken tenders. Mm. <laughs> I think they're like kind of, ugh, okay. Stop! California lottery. Woohoo! The best taxes California gets, and they get a lot of them. Hey, look. Another phone. Oh, look at that. It's literally, well, that's a nice phone. And the battery just fell out. That's even nicer. What else have we got in this thing? A prayer box. What's in there? Just paper and pen. Well, and we got that. A salt and pepper shaker. This is a weird, strange unit. It's not looking good for us so far, but yeah, there's really nothing of any value in that bag. Let's see. We got another bag here. Ugh. What was that? There's a ghost in the unit, 100%. Got it. Looks like a leather jacket. Liz Claiborne. Me. Oh boy! Mmm. Oh you, you want some three oat bread? Or what about? Are you more of a bagel type person or English muffin? Ugh. What is this? This is a jewelry box? Ooh. Think we got anything? No. No. And no. Completely empty jewelry box. My favorite. Ooh, we got some nuts. I don't know. We have no more beans. beans. This is a Sea King. 
watch. I don't know if that has any value. And well, you wanna know what else is in here? Some oatmeal and a book from Words West. And that's literally it. This isn't looking so good. All right, let's see if we got anything here. Oh boy, don't you just love hotel washables? That's big money. And ooh. Well, we got something that might have some value, like a little horse carousel thing. It's a Viola limited edition, 2,733 out of 5,000 carousel collection. This might be our one little hope. Hopefully it has some value to it, because so far I haven't seen anything else with any value. And this is just, let's see, here's a card with nothing in it. Well, this is pretty much all that's in there, and we just got more papers. I think I finally found a box that's gonna have some resale value. Maybe not a lot, but something. Looks like a little detailer for a car, a buffer or something. It's Craftsman. And this looks like oh, the bigger version of that. Ooh, this looks like a detailer. And it's a buffer, a polisher. Uh, more black bags, appreciate it, because we're gonna really, really need these with this unit so far. And you know what else is in there? A dirty, disgusting pan that has mold growing out of it, leaves, and a broken, empty CD case. And that's that's it. It's just, it's beautiful. All right, so we got some of the clothes out the way, and we ooh, look like we got a huge suitcase here that is extremely heavy. There's no way that's clothes in there. No way. Let's see what we got. Ugh. Oh, random pictures, pictures, pictures. Hold on. You didn't see those. You didn't see those either. What's in here though? This is gift set value $149, but it's just more pictures and pictures and pictures and pictures and more pictures. My favorite. Put that aside. This is all pictures, literally all pictures. What's underneath here? Looks like we might have some other stuff underneath. Give us one second. All right, so we flipped it over. Let's see what's in the top. It might be more of the same for all we know. Books, books. It's probably a photo album, isn't it? Yes, it's a photo album. And personal books, this gross losing team book, and nothing else of any interest to us. We pull out another suitcase. Let this please be the one with some value so we don't get completely done over. What is this stuff? I don't even know. The best is yet to come. This better be the case for the storage unit, I'm telling you. There's nothing in there. Nothing in the top? Nothing. And try not to let the stuff all fly out and let it fall down. Well, adhesive remover. What is that? Probably a bottle of milk at this point. Jeez, they got enough wrapping done to it? a baby thing it's not real it's just a that thing well it looks like we got another suitcase full of worthless not resellable junk my favorite can this please be the lucky box please just one we only need one lucky box Ooh, it looks more interesting this thing Ooh, 10 cent stamps, that's great. Now I can send some mail off. And a dirty penny and some fake jewelry. It's always good, don't forget the loose matches. Nice stuff. This is, ooh, this is locked. You hear that? This thing's locked, we're gonna, eh, I can't see in there. Okay, we're gonna set this aside and we'll bust it open a little bit. Save that for later. This is more pictures, set that aside. And it looks like we got one of our favorite things. Completely useless, completely worthless, and unsellable. Tapes. Pretty much just straight trash. Might as well just be trash. Well, maybe there's something in that box, maybe. Guys, this is not looking good so far. We got a lot more stuff out of the way. It's just clothes and old food, not resellable. Well, let's see what's in here. The clothes can be, but it's just, it's not gonna make up our $375. Maybe a tiger will. That's another couple bucks, maybe. Ugh, what are these? 
Just some like design things to throw on the wall, basically. Mm -hmm. And they have $6.99 price tag on it from Marshalls. So yeah, they're another couple dollars. This one, lampshade full of clothes. Uh, what is this? That looks like an older lamp, doesn't it? Yeah. Which the problem nowadays, you never know if something's old or made to look old. That's one of the issues we have. And where's the plug at? If we can see the plug, we can get a better guess. But that looks like an older plug. This might actually be an older lamp. This might have some value to it. We'll have to look that up and find out. Um, well, look, these look like the blankets and stuff hotels give you that I guess they decided they were going to put in this chest and take home with them. Mm, yeah, maybe. The wicker container itself might have some value. But other than that, there's just not much in here. Well guys, I wish I could say there was a fairy tale ending to this one, but we just, I didn't even record it. Every single box we opened was either just dirty clothes with mouse poop and mouse pee on it, disgusting moldy food, and just, look, we're done. There's nothing of value. This is just the personal stuff we're leaving behind. The only hope, glimmer of hope, we have less is that little tiny lockbox. Maybe there's jewelry in it. If not, we'll show you the couple things we pulled out. But for the most part, this unit was a big L, big bust. All right, let's do a recap. You see all the stuff on the table? There's nothing. Yeah. Literally, this unit was Even horrible. Even like over here where the camera can't see, there's nothing. The unit was horrible, like horrible, horrible, horrible. Nothing of value. All the clothes stink like pee. And then just the whole unit was just, just awful. Yeah. The only thing we got is this little tiny little box glimmer of hope here just a little <laughs> tiny piece of hope that there's something of some value in here i can't bust the lock open there's no key so i'm just gonna straight break the box i don't think i have a choice yep yeah. you ready yeah it looks like it's gonna be some trash this is somebody's personal picture on the back of the other side of this heart i have some of these coin rollers 50 cent Ooh, and pennies. Empty. Rolls. I found a little coin here. Oklahoma Sooners 1981. It's a football coin. There's another coin. From Oklahoma State, I guess. Yeah, Oklahoma Sooners 1980. Yeah, that's 81. Oh, well, this one is in, in a protective case at all. It has like glue or something on the back. Hmm. This watch says Omega Automatic. It doesn't look like it's real gold or anything like that, but it's there. This is a personal picture, but what's cool about this is somebody's in like a military uniform next to, I don't want to show the picture because there's a person in it, but it says U.S. Headquarters Berlin District. Oh, cool. And well, I what wish else? there was more. There's really not. More of these things. What are these? They're in, well, I don't know. <laughs> Teething pain medicine? So... I wonder if these are personalized though. Yeah, I'm pretty like, sure it's initials. This looks really cool. This looks like a handmade leather like belt buckle. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. You know what? Maybe. Let's just put it like this. I'm trying to get help. We bought, we bought three units at auction run. Two out of three were awesome. And this one just sucked. It just kind of sucked that it was the most expensive of the three. But you know what? If every single storage unit you buy was a winner, everybody would be doing this. Sometimes you take L's and you know what? We're taking the L right now. $375 down the drain. There's the L, but that ain't gonna stop us. It's whatever. It's one loss. We got more auctions tomorrow. So you know yes. what? We're getting more. I ain't slowing down a bit. When I take an L like this, it doesn't discourage me. It <laughs> encourages me to get back out there and erase that memory. Cause it's like being a fighter. You know, the last unit is in the back of your head. That's how my last performance was. It wasn't good. No. I gotta go get rid of that right now. So let's hope we have some luck tomorrow, guys. And then we'll be back at the flea market too. So. Thursday. Stop the flea market if you're in the area. Stop the fairgrounds. Visit. You can't miss this. We got our new banner. <laughs> Apparently there's two out there, so it is the one of the fairgrounds. I didn't even know yeah. there's two. Yeah, it's, it's technically called San Joaquin Fairgrounds or Stockton Fairgrounds. It's off of like Airport Way or something. Yeah, feel free to come bother us. Yeah. You'll probably be in a video. Yeah. Guys, you're actually not going to believe this. So literally, I was editing the video. I was just about to be done. I decided to look this watch brand up that was in there. The Omega Automatic, and they are expensive. The cheapest one I've seen sell sold for $250, but on average, they're like 300 and something to 500 and some dollars. Can you believe that? For anyone that's into watches, please let me know if we got something that's worth a lot of money there. But that's what it looks like. I started looking it up and I was just like, I felt like this was a movie. I just like, there's no way we got all that trash. And then there's 
one little hidden expensive gem that could possibly pay for the whole unit in a little locked box. That's insane. Not to mention, these coins are worth about $15 to $30 a piece too. So realistically, it is very possible that that whole unit was trash. But these little tiny little things in that one lock box could potentially cover the cost of the unit. Now, I don't know yet. We just typed these in eBay and started looking at them. Just saw how expensive they were. But I just, I, I couldn't believe that. So don't forget to like the video even though the units suck. Subscribe if you enjoy these type of videos. And until next time, peace out.